What's up everybody, Chris with South Carolina Gun School and today we are going to talk about a way that you can step up and even track your training. Dun, dun, dun. Welcome back everybody. Like I said, we're going to talk about a way that you can step up and track your training. Uh, for most shooters, you're probably going to know what I'm holding here for some of the newer shooters out there. What this is called is a shot timer. All right? It's from the company Competition Electronics. It's their Pocket Pro 2. All right? What this will allow you to do is add some stress to your training and practice as well as allow you to track your progress um, week over week or however often you go out and practice. Now it's not anything that's going to store it in here inside the timer itself. Um, you would kind of have to carry a pad or pen or keep your phone nearby and put in your times inside your phone or jot them down on a pad or pen and that's a way that you can track and see how you're doing or if you want to ride it on the target. Take the target down or as you go through, write your times on your target. And that way you can also keep track of your times and your grouping. Uh, but this right here is an awesome, awesome tool to use on the range. And you can even use it when you're doing dry fire. All right, so you got your little screen here. You might be able to see some of the times already. I'm not sure I'm trying to get it focused there. All right, but you'll have um, your overall time and then you'll have it says first all right it says first what first means is that's going to be your time from drawing out of the holster on the target firing your first shot then you have also on here your SPL or splits so what your splits are is when you go down through here and look I'm trying to get it close enough where you can see okay when you go down here and look, you'll see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, however many shots you fired. All right, and it's going to have times in between each number. And that's how fast you're pulling the trigger. So that's how fast each shot is getting off. Okay? So, like, you've got a split on here of 0 0.20, 0 0.19. All right, that's your splits. If you add a mag change in there, that'll show you how long it took you to take and do your mag change to that next shot. So this is a really, really great tool to track that. Now, once you start getting into your settings, all right, you have what's called your par time. All right, that means you'll get a beep when it starts, and then your par time is whatever time it reaches, you'll get another beep. So a beep to start and a beep to stop. So if you want to work mag changes, that's a really, really good way to do it. So I'll show, I'll show you. All right, I've got it set at random on here. So random, then you can set your time frame for your random. Random means that it's just going to beep at random once you hit the button. I've got it set from a second and a half to three seconds. All right, because I want to give myself a little time to hit the button and settle in if I'm down there practicing by myself. But this button on the side, when you get ready to start, you just push the button and then there's your beep. So then you, as soon as you, when you hear the beep, it means go, draw, start banging rounds down range, and then it'll start tracking everything. Now the part time, like I said, will give you, so we'll just set it at one second. So let's say you want to get your draw stroke to one second. All right, so you'll get a beep when you start, and then a beep when it stops after one second. Yeah, that's fast. Oh, yeah. So you've got some people, if you practice enough, will have under a one-second part-time or draw stroke or however you want to call it. So I've seen some of them at, um, it only does increments of 10, so you can't do any increments of 5. Everything's increments of 10. But some people I've seen at, this kind of draw stroke. So start, stop, this is their draw stroke to first shot. <laughs> That's 0.7 second. 
that's quick all right so that'll let you so let's say if you're wanting to work mag changes and you want to have a second and a half you have your mag changes at a second and a half set it in a second and a half hit the button to start So you should have your mag changed back on target before that second beep. So it's also a good tool for dry fire. Again, you've got a random start, all right, or you have instant, meaning as soon as you hit the button, it starts. I like the random because I want to give myself time to get set, or if I'm out practicing, I don't want to know when it's coming, or if even if I'm using it in a class, I don't want my students to know when it's coming. So I set that at random, I have it again, one and a half to three seconds. Then you've got your beeper volume. Okay, you've got how you want to review everything. Then you've got your shot sensitivity and things like that. So if you're using a suppressor, you can go in here and change the sensitivity because just on the standard setting, or I should say the default setting, the this is not going to pick up your suppressors unless you're holding it right up there at the suppressor. Or you're fairly close to it but you can change that all right depending on what you're using your date time set all that stuff again this is a really really great tool you can find it on Amazon for somewhere between I think 125 100 to 130 somewhere in there sometimes they'll run them on sale I'm sure you could probably go right to the company and order right from them I've just got it on Amazon. There's all different kinds out there. You've got them like this. You've got ones that are a little smaller that you can hang around your neck like a stopwatch. You've even got some that are an actual, like a watch that you would wear there on your wrist. Um, the one on the wrist, the watch is a little bit more expensive. I'm gonna say it's running somewhere between 250 to 300 maybe. Um, your average ones on these, as far as this size, depending on your options and stuff, as far as what they can do, I would say 100 to 150 is your average price range. Uh, even the little ones that you can kind of hang around your neck, like a stopwatch, uh, those are still in that 1 to 150 range. Uh, I know some of y'all are like, oh, this is a little look. This is a, it's a great training tool. What's your life worth? Go back to my radio show and listen to it. I did one about what's your life worth, right? A lot of people in the industry will call, you'll hear them say the stupid box. This thing will make you go stupid, all right? It'll make you jump and jerk because you're like, all right, beeps coming, beeps coming. You start twitching and stuff. This is an excellent, excellent training tool. It adds a little bit of stress to it because you're trying to work a little bit of speed in there. But don't sacrifice accuracy in your grouping for speed, you gotta find that balance. That's what this thing helps you do. This is a great, great tool. Get one and use it. And now, if you're going to an actual range, that's where you gotta change the sensitivity a little bit. But even then, you're probably gonna pick up some other shots around you. So be careful going out to public ranges. Try to go when there's very minimal people there or you're the only one there. Or if you have access to a place where you can go property or whatnot where you're alone but still it's a great 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 training tool it's not that expensive get out get one start using it I promise you it will make you stupid I've gone down and there's times I've gone down there and I hit this button and it gives me my beat and I'm just standing there frozen it will make you go stupid it is a great great training tool because you don't want to be frozen and freeze when something happens in real life and that's what I try to equate this to is that beep is my threat coming at me I've got to work quickly and also have a good balance with accuracy get out and get yourself one of these you will not be disappointed if you come into my classes we're going to be using this song probably any other instruction you go to more than likely, they're going to be using one of these. Get yourself one. I'll have a link for it down below in the description so you can go in and check it out. But don't be scared of these things. Use it. It will make you better. It will allow you to track your progress and see how you're doing. Some days you might even have bad days. 
All right? Don't continue to practice if you're having a bad day. You only get frustrated and lock in bad habits. But this is a great tool. A lot of people have been asking me, here you go. This is what you need right here. So, again, we've got Train and Learn coming up in just a couple of weeks. Make sure you get out there and get signed up for that. You will not be disappointed. It will help your business. It will help you as a, become a better instructor, better influencer, advocate, manufacturer, whatever it might be. All right. Don't forget if you need any gear, check him out. NoOtherChoice.com. Use code SCGS5. You'll get a discount even off your swag. You'll get a discount off the swag. The code is not allowed on the training. It's only for gear and swag. Don't forget a great belt. The belt that I use and will continue to use and always been a great belt, Core Essentials. Get over to them. Use my code SCGS10. Get a discount on any belts, mag pouches, flashlights, knives, backpacks, flat, um, sunglasses. They got all kind of stuff. SCGS10 for them as well too. And don't forget, folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.